imaginary friends. We all had them growing up. We decided, yo, man, these niggas ain't gonna be my friend for real, bro. I'm gonna make up some friends. Now nah, them be my friends. And these friends ain't gonna do me wrong. They ain't gonna be fake. They ain't gonna be jealous. They ain't gonna be envious. And, bro, I just been thinking we need to bring this back as adults. Not necessarily having imaginary friends and talking to them and all that, but, I mean, just being okay not having friends just for the sake of having friends. Not having people in your life that don't better you people that you wouldn't want to influence your children people that you only hang out with because you're afraid of spending that time alone and I learned this the hard way because I went to Thailand with a former friend that I thought we was good friends, but I quickly realized, bro, we was just friends because we went out and party, And we went to the clubs. We weren't really friends for real. We didn't really have a, like, real deep relationship. We really didn't know each other. It was just surface level. And I had been friends with this person for almost 10 years and we went our separate ways out there and I was like bruh how could I be so blind how could I be so blind to somebody that's not really my friend somebody that I thought was my friend And in my mind, we were friends. We were cool. But then, I saw the true colors. Saw that this person really didn't fuck with me like that. Ulterior motives was at play. So, I'm not telling y'all to never make any friends in real life. I'm not telling y'all never to socialize. That's not what I'm saying. I think people get it misconstrued when I say that you should embrace being alone and that you don't need anybody. I'm saying you don't need that needy energy. You don't need to have that. Because when you develop your self-esteem, you realize that you're valuable how you are. You don't need the validation from other people. It's cool to get the validation, okay. But you don't need it because you validate yourself. You're validated by the most high. So why have fake friends around you? Why have people that you know don't really like? You know they don't have the best intentions for you. You know they don't really want to see you succeed. When you tell them your dreams or your plans or your goals, that they don't get excited for you. They don't celebrate your goals with you. They'll be by your side with your lo when you accrue losses, when you're losing, when things are going bad for you. They'll be by your side, possibly, to give you some words of encouragement. Because they're like, yeah, bro, we're, we're in the same position. He's staying on the same level as me. But when you're leveling up, when you're going up, is this person going to be as happy for you as you, you will be for them, as you will be for yourself? Does this person actively want you to succeed? Are they encouraging you? 
Do they actually try to get to know you on a deeper level? And vice versa. Do you actually try to get to know them? Or are y'all just hanging out because y'all like drinking together? Because y'all like smoking together? Because y'all like going to the restaurant together? Because y'all like watching the game together? And if you're going to have friends like this, okay. But just consciously know what this is. Like, yo, I just hoop with these niggas. We're not really friends like that. I don't think I can call on them. If I need something for real, but if we're going to hoop every Sunday or something, then yeah, I'm cool with that. That's our relationship. But don't get attached to something that's not there. Don't expect this person to encourage you. Don't expect this person to celebrate with you when you achieve higher. That's all I'm saying. So imaginary friends are better than fake friends. Because fake friends will hold you back. Due to hypnotic rhythm. You're going to vibrate. On the same wavelength as your environment. Majority of the time. Unless you have a really, really strong will. You're going to vibrate on the same frequency as everything that's around you. So, the people that you hang around, look at their life. Look how they did live life. Look at their habits. Look at their goals, if they have any. Look what they're doing. Not in a judgmental way, but in a rational way and say, do I want to be like this person? Is this the type of person I want to be like? Is this a person that I would want to babysit my kids if I had kids? Or in the future, if I had kids, would I let this person babysit my kids? If the answer is no, why are you hanging out with this person? Why are you spending time with them? Because you are the average of the five people that you spend time with and that you hang out with. I don't see how people do not realize this and people just ignore this and they think that this is fake or something. When it's the reality, your subconscious mind takes in everything that you're doing con constantly. Everything around you. And it's going to give you what it thinks you are. So if you're hanging around five bums then your subconscious mind says oh he he's a bum too and inversely if you hang around five wealthy people your subconscious mind is gonna say yo he's wealthy too and your subconscious mind is gonna put you on a path to getting money bro it's really that simple If you're hanging around five criminals, five convicts, your subconscious mind is going to say, oh, he's a convict too. That's how it works. So you can curate your life. So many people always talk about uh, they're not in control of their life. How life keeps happening to them. How all the outside things in the environment are keeping them down. That God is against them or something. It's not God that's against you. It's you that's against you. Because this information is readily, readily available. And it's in your face. You get to choose who you hang out with. You can choose a new environment. You can choose to think different. You can choose to saturate your mind with different information. That's going to expand your mind and grow you. You can choose what you do. You can choose your habits. But you steadily choose not to. 
So it's not God that's the problem. It's not God that's keeping you down. It's not luck. It's you. You're not unlucky. You're making the choice to be this person. You're making the choice to keep yourself down. And the reason for that, you have to do some soul searching for yourself to find out why do I want to keep myself down? Is it my self image? Is it what other people told me? Is it what my teachers told me? Why do I think less of myself? You have to do some soul searching to find that. But I say all this to say that stop surrounding yourself with fake friends because you yourself will become fake as well. And if you need friends for real, if you need friends that bad and you seriously can't find any, then start having some imaginary friends. It's Zen Hustler, no slave. I'm out this joint. Come on.